Hello students, in this video we'll find the Jordan canonical form of a 3 by 3 matrix. Suppose we wish to find the Jordan form of a matrix A, which is 12, 16, negative 4, negative 5, 30, negative 2, 5, negative 8, 24, given that lambda equals 22 is the only eigenvalue. This, of course, is equivalent to saying that the algebraic multiplicity is equal to 3. So if we find the eigenvectors, we will see the equation we need to solve is negative 10, 16, negative 4, negative 5, 8, negative 2, 5, negative 8, 2, applied to v is equal to 0. We can row reduce this matrix by elementary row operations to the equation negative 5, 8, negative 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, applied to v is the 0 vector. Because the second and third rows are opposite of each other, so I can simply add them together to limit the third row. And the first row and the second row are multiples of each other, so I can add a multiple of the first row to eliminate the second row, and I can rescale the first row to get this relationship. So v must satisfy the following relationship. 5v1 minus 8v2 plus 2v3 is equal to 0. So I know that this is a plane and this implies that the geometric multiplicity is equal to 2. The deficiency of this eigenvalue is the difference in the algebraic and the geometric multiplicity. And that will be 3 minus 2, so the deficiency in this eigenvalue is equal to 1. So the kernel of A minus 22 times the identity is the span of any two independent vectors on this plane. So what we can do is we could choose, for example, the vector 8, 5, 0, and that would be one vector on the plane. And we can also choose the vector over here if I choose 0, 1, 4, that will also be a vector on the plane. And I have found two eigenvectors. So now what we would want to do is we want a generalized eigenvector Namely, I would like to solve the equation a minus 22 applied to identity applied to a generalized eigenvector w is a combination of these two vectors over here is c1850 plus c2014. Once we find this eigenvector w, I can rechange the basis, I can retune my basis for the kernel of a minus 22 times identity to put the matrix into Jordan form, which we'll see shortly. Welcome back, students. We're in the process of finding the Jordan canonical form of the matrix A, and then previously we found that the kernel of A minus 22 times the identity was the span of these two vectors. Now we want a generalized eigenvector W such that A minus 22 applied to the identity W is C1, and let's call this vector over here V1 and this vector over here V2, C1 V1 plus C2 V2. It may not be the case that W 
is able to attain V1 by itself or V2 by itself, but it will certainly be able to attain some combination of this because we know that the kernel of a minus 22 times identity squared is the entire space. So there's one more vector outside the original kernel of a minus 22 times identity, which gives me a basis for the space. So this equation will tell me that we subtract off 22 from the diagonal, we get negative 10, 16, negative 4, negative 5, 8, negative 2, and 5, negative 8, 2, applied to w1, w2, w3, is equal to c1 times the first vector, v1. So this will be c1 times 8, 5, 0, plus c2 times 0, 1, 4. And so if we write this out, let's look at the third equation. The third equation over here, so let's write out each of these equations. So we'll have negative 10 w1 plus 16 w2 minus 4 w3 is equal to 8 c1. And then we will have a negative 5 w1 plus 8 w2 minus 2 w3 is equal to 5 c1 plus c2. And 5w1 minus 8w2 plus 2w3 has to be equal to 4c2. And so now I would like to find w1, w2, w3, which satisfies this equation for some value of c1 and c2. If we look at the bottom two equations over here, we see that these are opposites of each other. So it must be the case that 5c1 plus c2 is equal to negative 4c2, which tells me that 5c1 is negative 5c2, and c1 is equal to negative c2. So if c1 is equal to negative c2, these equations can be updated. This over here, this 8c1, we can just replace this with negative 8c2. And this can be replaced with, this one over here can be replaced with a negative 4c2. And so we can choose our value of c2 now. So if we choose c2 to be 1, that will tell us that c1 will be negative 1. And our vector that corresponds to this, so our c1 v1 plus c2 v2, will be negative 8, negative 5, 0, plus 0, 1, 4. So we'll have a negative 8, a negative 4, and a 4. So note that negative 8, negative 4, 4 is in the span of this. So this span contains the vector negative 8, negative 4, 4. And if that's the case, if we choose c1 to be 1, c2 to be 1, we look at this bottom equation over here. If we choose, take w1 equals w2 equals 0, and then the bottom equation become 2 w3 is equal to 4c2, and c2 is 1, so this would be 4 times 1, which is c2. That tells me that w3 can be chosen to be 2. So if we choose w3 to be equal to 2, all of these equations are satisfied. And now I have the vector negative 8, negative 4, 4, which is in the kernel of a minus 2 times identity. If I take this vector over here, so if I apply a minus 22 identity applied to the vector 0, 0, 2, which is my w, I will get the vector negative 8, negative 4, 4. So I have the component of a Jordan block. Now I need to find, so I have modified my basis over here, so I have a negative 8, negative 4, 4. And so what I can do is I need to find one other vector in this span to give me a new span of this kernel. So if I choose, so we can take 
the kernel of a minus 22 applied to the identity to be the span of negative 8, negative 4, 4. And this vector will also work, 0, 1, 4. Since I know these two vectors are linearly independent, since there's an 8 up top here with a negative sign. So if I choose my matrix P to be 0, 1, 4, negative 8, negative 4, 4. And then finally my vector W, which is 0, 0, 2. So I have eigenvector, eigenvector, and then generalized eigenvector. This will imply that my matrix A has the form P, 0, negative 8, 0, negative 1, negative 4, 0, 4, 4, 2. And then I'll have a 22, a 0, 0, 0, 22, 1, 0, 0, 22. Since we know that if I apply the vector W, I have A applied to W is 22W plus V. And so here's my column for the V, this combination of the original V1 and V2, and that will give me W. And then what goes in the last entry is this matrix, which is the inverse of the matrix P. And this is the Jordan decomposition of the matrix A. Thank you very much.